Good day all, Steve the Amateur Historian here with you with a kind of impromptu video and I also am still in that phase where I'm without a selfie stick so I'm going old school just holding the, my phone with my bare hands. Uh, recently I did a kind of fun spur of the moment investigative trek through downtown to find all the spots where there used to be uh, old theaters because Portland was like the movie theater capital of the universe. Well today is going to be kind of a, I shouldn't say today because this is going to be over the course of a few days. A lot of ground to cover. Uh, this is going to be just a plethora of hidden gems. I'm going to go find a bunch of old theaters in the Portland area that uh, some of them are still functioning as theaters but most of them are just are functioning in various other capacities but they're theater buildings that started that way that are still standing today. And I'm gonna pass up, because again, I want this to be kind of the hidden gems type thing, things you wouldn't normally notice. So I'm not gonna take you to the Hollywood or the Baghdad or the Academy or Laurelhurst, Avalon, all those. It's gonna be ones that uh, either don't look like theaters anymore because they've been changed so you wouldn't notice, or they're just the more obscure ones. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, gonna take a lot of time, but whatever, let's do this. We begin our trek in the Lentz area where I was recently, uh, which makes perfectly good sense because, you know, what trek would be right, at least from my perspective, without acknowledging that, once again, here's what are the remains of what used to be the uh, New Copper Pennies kind of block, and on the furthest end down there where that kind of uh, dump truck uh, at least back end is, is where the Jaeger Theater was, which was a silent movie theater built in 1909. So while I'm trying to find theaters that still exist, that uh, is, you know, as of the start of this year, that was an old theater that was still standing. And it's in this very kind of interesting stretch of Foster that's a little seedy, but it's very old timey. Not old timey, but it looks almost like a historical district. And yet, I can't really find any information about the historical background of this area. It's very mysterious. Near this intersection was a small theater called the Brownie Theater, and it was near 66 and Foster. Um, and I'm thinking most likely it was on this stretch, one of these buildings here. Because here's 66, right here. I'm thinking it was one of these. We've got our share of old buildings here. It may have possibly been this blue building with the trim. I know that it was a very small theater. So it could have been any number of these really tiny buildings. Uh, it's a good thing that Bob sign was there. I mean, aside from that, I was able to notice that it was the Bob because of this, you know, intriguing theater with the outpointing windows right next to it, um, you will you can see that building past it in old pictures of the place. It's really interesting how, you know, there was all these big movie palaces in Portland. When you're in downtown Portland, they had to be palaces. And then the further east you go, they're just these kind of quaint, you know, little kind of upright buildings. Because back then, pretty much all these theaters, they only had one screen. So, you know, it looks like it's kind of an elongated building. So maybe the screen was actually facing a wall facing this way while the entrance was more this way. Um, of course, I'm not really sure. I was never able to go in there. but from the tiny Bob White. We're traveling just about 10 blocks this way to where the next uh, theater was located here along Foster Road, East Portland. We're coming up now to 54th and Foster, our next stop. So I'm approaching Foster and 55th. I thought I was supposed to be going to 54th, but I see this gem. Look at this. I mean, a lot of these places I'm going to I've never seen before. But you've got this sign. This, this looks very old. I don't know if this is what I'm looking for because it's like a block short. So it looks like there's a framing business in here now, but you can see that it's all blocked off. Here's the old marquee sign. And then you got the main sign up here. I, I don't know. 
Is this what I'm looking for? Now that I'm looking at it from this perspective, I actually think that this may have been the Ames Theater. It, I mean, look at just the awesome, I mean, I know the sun's kind of in your face, but look at the, the beautiful like, overall structure. It's very movie theater, -ish. it's got the huge marquee. Um, and maybe they changed the name to the Day Theater and it's just been kind of sitting here, you know, not obviously not functioning as a theater anymore, but I think this is it. I'm now approximately five blocks east, northeast, of where the Ames Theater used to be because this is the uh, hustling and bustling intersection of Foster Road and Powell. And back in 1926, plans were actually slated to build a really massive Arabian Theater here. And it was supposed to be at this intersection. It said it's where Foster meets Powell, which is right here. And because I saw the designs, it was supposed to be a very elongated building. So it only could have been over here where this taco time and exotic dancing place is. Because uh, that's an elongated stretch. I love how there's a taco time here and a taco bell there. Now that's competition. Uh, the only other spot it could have been would have been over here where these two older buildings are. Because uh, this is kind of a more elongated part of the intersection because uh, Foster kind of comes, rounds its way in. stretch of closed down businesses. It's nice to see this theater uh, at 49th and Hawthorne is actually still getting some use. It looks like it's like an arcade and a saloon and it looks like it's a collection of businesses but this theater is still standing here. And now we're just a block down from Hawthorne on 49th. And I knew there was a theater here, but I couldn't remember what it was called. Fortunately, I looked around the back side and I got a reminder. Now, this was not the original name of this theater. That I cannot remember, but it's the, I believe in 1934, this became the Mount Tabor Theater. But it had a different name and I'll make sure to put it in this video so that it's all historically accurate. But that's so cool that that's on the back side. I'm now almost 30 blocks west of where we saw the old Mount Tabor Theater. We're going to Hawthorne and 20th to see another theater that goes by a different name than it originally did. And unfortunately, another theater where I remember the name that it has now, but not the name that it originally started with. And we are then coming to the chaotic insanity that is 20th and Hawthorne. It's like a five-way intersection. And amidst all this chaos and lunacy, we have the Cinemagic Theater, which again, obviously is the name it holds now. Uh, this theater's been here a pretty long time. I think it dates back at least, don't hold me to statistics, but it hold, dates back, I think, at least to the 1930s. Yeah, it's so wild. I think obviously the Cinemagic Theater is a one-screen theater. They're only playing Lion right now, but it's just so interesting because you're just there's just so much commerce and insanity going on at this intersection that this just almost kind of just you miss it because it's still functioning obviously as a movie theater, unlike most of these others. But it's still just kind of nestled away. It's so easy to miss. I didn't know it was here until I just chance was walking up and down Hawthorne one day and I was like, oh. 
What do we have here? <laughs> So now I'm down, a little bit of a stretch. I'm just off of 6th and Grand, which is this intersection over here. They're building another nice piece of shit here. There probably used to be a great building here. But I'm near 6th and Grand because what homage to old theaters would be complete without a passing by of where the Oriental Theater used to be. The Great Oriental Theater was right here. Nestled next to the Waverly Building, it literally stood right here between Waverly and this other building. It was a very thin, tall structure, and it was one of the most beautiful buildings ever conceived in the city of Portland. And they did what happened in so many cases, you know, around the 70s. They tore it down for parking, and as you can see, they're just making such great use of it. It's so sad that something so beautiful was destroyed so that we could have about 20 more parking spots in the city. And from there, we have moved way up North Portland. We're uh, in the, uh, I don't know I'm saying we, I'm all by myself, at least I think. I am in the Woodlawn neighborhood right now on Deacom Street, and I'm actually really excited because while I was just kind of scouring you know, Google images to find some cool stuff. I found kind of a cool little mini historical district down here. And there's this kind of battered little old building. I was like, what's that? And of course I discovered that it used to be a theater. And back here, this is actually one of those many old historical fire stations that they've managed to kind of revive and keep looking pretty. But if you look across the street, this right here, is the old Woodlawn Theater, which I guess makes sense considering the neighborhood we're in. But yeah, this little building here used to be a theater many, many moons ago. Um, and then after it shut down, it became kind of a storage place, and I think it's just kind of served in some kind of capacity like that since then. It almost looks like it's just not being used now, like it's just sitting here. And now I'm back in the Alberta neighborhood. I was only here a couple weeks ago uh, to see some places for my Black History Month series, but there's actually two locations where there were theaters. And the theater we're now approaching at 30th and Alberta was originally known as the Alameda Theater, which I didn't even realize Alameda went this far. You know, I don't really even know when I come to these individual theaters which ones are still being used for theaters, which ones are shut down, being used for various businesses, but it looks like this one is still being used as a theater with, you know, a conglomeration of other businesses along the side of it, but it's still being used as a theater, which is great.